put the gate to sleeves. White wine and some Cali trees. White that cell with the butter soft seats. A player out and ladies shout and let me ride, please. As Dr. Dre, let me ride, please. DJ Self VIP Saturday, Superstar J. Great Rizzy, we in the building, baby. And you know we got the homie, man. The big homie, Stiley in the building, what's up? Man, chilling, just been working, grinding, man. Working on this album. Yeah. Just constantly working on music. Just put out the new single, Swinging, featuring like Scarface, joint. man. It's yeah. been doing great. Get that on iTunes right now. Um, yeah, Selfish so, plug. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get that on iTunes. Yeah. <laughs> Had to plug that. But, yeah, just, um, just you know, loading up the, the ambition for the summer, man. Right. Just staying in the studio, staying busy, out doing shows, you know what I'm saying? Like, just constantly on the grind one of my homies had uh like down at um dd 172 had yeah. put me on you i was down at the the galley this is dame jack dame dash's galley that was downtown in uh soho yeah NYC. he had told me about you mm -hmm. and he said yo you know we got this cat and i was you know it was like similar almost like a jay-z skit you talking about yeah. you nigga on the boat you the bitter, nigga? <laughs> you know what i'm saying right right and right he, he, he let me hear something and then shortly after that i had um i heard uh what's the access right yeah 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 access to currency mm -hmm. and stuff Tell, how did how did that all come about it's funny that's a funny story make a long story short you know like uh me currency and wiz khalifa did yeah. a show a few years back at bb kings i believe it was for cmj mm -hmm. and then afterwards we ended back in this building down there in like the uh, Soho Tribeca area, which was DD 172. Right. And um, we all just ended up there together. It was like two, three in the morning. Motherfucking and dream team yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah. and we, we just started. Up, we should have been there that night. <laughs> yeah. and, well, you know, we was just kicking raps and talking, and Dane was, you know, sitting at the table kind of like schooling us on the industry and on, you know, the things that he's been through and seen. Um, just, you know, giving yeah. us advice, you know, telling us that as our careers rise and start to expand, that we still kind of stay in touch and, you know, stay close to each other. And, um, yeah, from there on, it was like kind of like a welcoming, like, you know, Dane was like, yo, you can use this facility, whatever you need. It's okay. here, you know, if you want to shoot videos, if you want to record. Ski was there at the time, Ski Beat, right. shout yeah. out to him. Right. You know, he was there, you know, just knocking out beats daily. So, you know, that was something that it was kind of like a um, a creative workspace that everybody just kind of filter in and out, right. just grinding, you know what I mean? Shout and then out to we, Dame. Um, yeah, Shit. shout out to Dame <laughs> for that space. It was just, I mean, some of the, pff, man, everybody was through there, you know, from everybody from the Black Keys to myself to Currency to Wiz to Crit to Smoke Dizza to uh, RZA, to Jay Elect, to most, wow. like everybody, you know, fell through there at one time and, wow. and, and put music out um, through that building and visuals and everything. So, you know, it was good. And then we went out to Jamaica. Yeah. Chilled out there for like a week. And me and Currency did the record address, you know, that was on um, his first album. Yeah. That came out through Def Jam and through DD-172, I believe. Um, I see Currency, you know, he made that move with Dame first, you know, and then he ventured off and did his own thing. What made you not make that move with Dame? Because I know he had to offer you, like, yo, if you know, you want to come with me. You know, um, it just, at the at the time, I wasn't real comfortable with the situation. Uh -huh. um, I was still built in myself, you know what I mean? Just being a new artist and kind of trying to figure everything out. Yeah. I didn't want to just jump into my first situation or the first type of yeah. offer that I had. And, um, you know, I, I was just so used to me doing everything with my team and doing everything independently and doing it how I wanted to do it, when I wanted to do it. Definitely. And um, so, you know, that was something that kind of slowed me down into jumping right into it. But right. I was all for, you know, he, he did like some of the karate school joints that Ski did, wh which were like collaborative compilations, you know what I mean? Um, I was always a part of them, Currency's album, you know, a part of them. So it was just something that... Um, I, I just chose to do myself, other than, oh. you know, it was a better situation for currency, I'm assuming, you know what I'm saying? Lincoln Way Dice. Yes. Dope, dope fucking project, Thank man. You. It was one of those, yo, Jay, it was one of these types of projects. I, I know you, you went to all that hard shit, so you went to- No, 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 You went to, you went to, you, lyricist, you, you went to good music. That. But let me tell you something, yes. the way he put together this project, it was like an album. It was like, okay. straight, tell me, tell me a little bit about that, man. Just starting out. I was new to everything, you know. I, I was one of those dudes who was just a lyricist who just rapped. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, any beat, I'm just rapping over it. You know what I mean? And the cypher, I'm just rapping. You know what I mean? I just love the rap. I love uh -huh. the right rap. So, you know, 
my first little project that I was putting out was over other people's beats. Yeah. And then I started to think like, yo, I don't have like my own distinct sound. You know, I need to create my sound. Like I'm from a small town, Maslin, Ohio. Mm-hmm. Shout out to them. You know, Ohio, what up? Yeah, I'm, a sm- I'm from a small town and we don't have a lot of not only do we not have artists that come from my small town, but we don't have a lot of artists who came out of Ohio as yeah. far as hip hop goes, you know? So I just wanted to be able to create a sound that felt and sound and smelt whatever it was Definitely. like Ohio and like mass in Ohio. Mm, so, okay. you know, I went back home. I got with one of the producers. His name was Shy Thomas. Shout out to him. You know, he's from Columbus, Ohio. And I just sat with him and we sat like maybe, I guess like the whole summer just in his basement. And we just recorded this whole project, you know, and called it Lincoln Way Nights. Lincoln Way Nights is also Lincoln Way is like a street. Okay. Up there. And, yeah, Ohio. And that's from where I'm from. Right. And um, on this street, you know, at night, especially Friday, Saturday nights, people just cruise up and down the street. They bring out their cars, you know what I mean? A lot, a lot of chicks? Of old schools, a lot of girls. All right, you know, so I need to go. Windows. Where's it Lincoln yeah. Way? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? That put that on the, on the map. We yeah, got to put a pin on the map for that. You have to go through Lincoln Way, you know what I'm saying? What made you bring your brand to uh, Maybach music? Man, it just felt right, you know, like meeting with Ross, you know, like Ross, he just came to me, you know, humbly too, you know, he called me personally, uh-huh. you know, he got my number, gave me a call, we spoke on the phone, he told me he was interested in meeting me, he loved what I was doing and he was a fan, flew me down the next day, next day I get down there, we have a conversation, he tells me, you know, he was basically shooting like, yo, I know this song. I know that I like this artwork. I know this video. Like, yeah. he was just describing things. So I knew he really had been watching and, right. you know, studying for a while okay. and not just calling some random dude like, yo, this yeah, dude seems you're high, high. Yeah, you're exactly. Let me grab him. But you can tell that he was definitely a fan. He definitely paid attention attention to what, you know, I have done in the past and what I was doing. And it was just, um, you know, it just felt good. You know, it felt like family. And it was just definitely important for me to be able to bring my brand over over there and still be my brand, you know, still be myself, be the artist I want to be see that. and make the music I want to make. And, you know, he's all for that. And that's one thing that really allowed me to make that decision because everywhere else was kind of like, we might have to change this or we might have <laughs> to do this or we should do this or maybe you should do this. Was or, it one meeting where a motherfucker said you might have to cut off your bed or oh, something? Oh, no, nah, never, man. <laughs> <I don't, laughs> what? I would have got up right away. Over. <laughs> yeah. Meeting over. I would have got up right away. Like, I'm out of here. With the new the new single that's coming out, I've noticed that there's been semi uproar. Like a lot of people been going ahead talking about the new singles uh, swinging. There was a uh, I think a group G. Oh yeah, G side. G side. Yeah, yeah, out of yeah. Alabama. Uh huh. Song had been done previously. Right. About four or five years ago. Mm-hmm. And um, a lot of people think that they they might be under the impression that you took it, but that's not right. the case. Why don't you go ahead and tell yeah, explain, people what explain. really happened? Yeah, yeah, I'm glad you actually uh, asked me that because to be all the way real with you, I had no idea that they did the record, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Or they had the same beat, same oh, vibe. Don't you hate that? Yeah, and, and, and it's, <laughs> like, you know, like, and I'm not trying to put it on anybody or whatever, but, you know, the producers came to me, they had this record, I love the record, yeah. you know, I asked them about it. They basically told me that, you know, it was a sample which i heard the sample Definitely. in it right. and it's um, a popular song yeah exactly yes yeah, it's, yeah. it's off the mint so i'm like okay that's obvious yeah. and um a- along with the hook i'm thinking that it was a sample too for maybe something i never heard cuz that's yeah. the impression that he gave me right. and um so with that being said i was like he was like, you can change it if you want or you can keep it. And yeah. I was like, well, let me write to it, see what I do, and I then see, see how I let feel. Let me live with it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <clears throat> so I lived with it, wrote it. The hook felt right. The record felt right, you know what yeah. I mean, after the raps was put to it. And I was just like, all right, cool. So let's put it out. So you know. As you put so it as out, we then... going through <laughs> the label with the clearances and everything, everything's fine. You yeah. know? So I'm like, <laughs> okay, we good to go. Yeah. Right. And as soon as when it drops, of course. A motherfucker you know. come out the yeah. woodwork. Yeah. So somebody comes Little out Jojo like Jojo from yeah. the block. Yo, <laughs> exactly. man, I made this song. I so know I, this yeah. motherfucker <laughs> copied <laughs> off of me. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> living on the internet and living on, you know, YouTube and all that coming out and i'm like man so you know of course i had to confront the producers and they uh they explained to me and apologized that you know it was definitely they fought and they should have yeah. let me know everything because right. they didn't you know what i mean but um you know we got it all cleared away now and everything is situated all parties is happy right. okay and you know and this it's is a, a good record the production was done by the block yeah uh, by the block beaters, block beaters yes right. yes and so, 
So what, did they actually sell a record before or they just gave the record to somebody? I think they was, that's the sick part about it is that I think (laughs) they sold it before and I didn't know, you know what I mean? But that's how these producers do, man. That's why I try to stay away from, I'm not a rapper, but you know, I dip and dabble, you know, and try to get ill beats. And then when you hear that (laughs) sample, it's just like 18 other producers did that flipped you know it I mean? or did it flipped it a certain way yeah. or whatever and, and that was the thing too and I just wanted to be you know all you had to do was be up front and be honest and be like this is what, what and let me decide right. because now if I have the opportunity to be able to decide that I want to go with it or I don't yeah. then it's on me right. we <laughs> haven't even talked about the part that you got the big homie on there Ooh, Scarface yeah. how did that come about <laughs> how did that like, come how about how did that happen well me I'm just because let's be clear it ain't like most people calling Scarface. Oh yeah, yeah, I'll jump on that. Like that's very selective of what he gets on. Of course, so and you know, happen? and I was blessed enough for him to have been a fan of me, who have heard my music yeah. and and liked the way I kick my raps, and just was, you know, it was just an honor, man, because I'm a big Scarface fan. I mean, Mister Mister sure. Scarface was probably one of yeah. the first rap songs I've ever heard. You know, what I mean, growing up as a child, right. I heard Scarface coming out of every, like I said, on them streets, them Lincoln yeah. Ways, and those mm-hmm. blocks. I heard Scarface face coming out of everybody's car I, the first time i heard smile was out of my homie you know jonathan's car may he rest that in peace but you, yeah that was my joint and then you know mary jane and all those mm-hmm. joints off of that album was just it, you know i'm just a big fan and i don't think a lot of people know or understand how much of a hip-hop fan i am mm-hmm. you know and i listen to everything but it, it was really really a blessing and humbling to get Scarface on the record. I mean, so are we gonna get like a a, a, a mixtape before the album or? Yeah, gonna, I mean, we you know we trying. I know to you figure got a out. lot of music. You yeah, know what I mean? like, I'm just give a couple. <laughs> no, nah, we got a lot of music and uh, we we trying to figure it out. But after um, we about to shoot the video to Swangin' yeah. in the next week or two. Um, Where you shooting what, at? We Ohio shoot, or Yeah, we Houston? shooting at them both. We okay. going down to Houston and we going up to Houston Ohio. bitches, man. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Houston, on the man. Earth, man. Houston, Shout out, man. Houston has beautiful ladies. Ohio <laughs> has beautiful ladies. I'm sorry for the bitches, baby, but, you know, beautiful ladies. You know? Nah, nah, you can say how you want to say it. But. <laughs> now, what beautiful lady in the industry would you bring in your VIP? Like, yo, you got to come in. Mm. Do, 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 I don't do, know. That's a good question. They all could come, man. <laughs> I'm just, Focus, man. I, hey, they all could come. It's a party. I, I, yeah, it's <laughs> come a party. On in. It's a motherfucking I, I don't, party. I'm not leaving nobody out. That's what <laughs> they it all is. can come in and join me. So we have a set date for the album. We don't. We but we working on it. Um, okay. But um, you know, around back to school time when the kids okay. start going okay. back to school, college when time. They got their, yeah, their pockets heavy. Exactly. And they can you go know, buy man, that album and they get that, it. bring that to the dorm. Yeah. Let their homies hear. They go get it. You know, yeah. we gonna do it yeah, like motherfucker that. Motherfucker else get it. Yeah. You know what I mean, <laughs> I gotta keep on getting my my homie album. You know what I'm saying? Because I know Rick got 10. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Already. <laughs> you know, I passed that. Every high. semester, I need you to buy a new copy. Yeah, okay. You know, What's what, what the name of the album? Kids. I don't have a name yet. Oh, not Still yet. Still working on that. Yeah, okay, because so. I had to ask. You yeah, know what nah, I mean? I didn't want, want to be thinking, like, you know what I'm saying? He's a motherfucker. You didn't even ask my name in the album <laughs> and shit. You know what I mean? So. Nah, yeah. So I'm still working on that. But, you know, as soon as I let, I know, you know, okay. I'm going to let you guys know, um, you know, because I got to come back up here, man. Yeah. Dude, I got to come shit. back. I would name I would name the album the strip, man. That strip that strip you talking about. Yeah, yeah. That would be a hot that album is type a good of song. One. Yeah, anybody who you know, hit me up on Twitter, ask Stally, let me know your ideas. You on Instagram or, too? Yeah, I'm on Instagram, it's ask Stally too. You okay. know, same thing. S T A L L E Y. Hit me up on those. Um, if you guys got, you know, some ideas for some name titles for the album, let me know. That's what shoot, it is. Shoot them my Man, thank you for coming out. And, you know, just for Rick, and, you know, I've been a fan, and he's really dig deep and, and told me <laughs> shit I didn't know about at one point. I, we going to go 15 minutes, nothing but, you know what I mean, you. Nah, nothing but I you. I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? Please. Say Superstar J, nothing but me. I ain't even trying to hear nothing, and we going to go like that. Yeah. And I'm going to send you all the pictures from Uptown, all the Spanish people with low riders and cars and yeah, shit. So oh, no, nah, please do. do that. That's another thing, man. You know, I'm a big car head, so all you guys out there listening, if y'all riding around clean yeah. you know what i mean and them impalas and them caddies man take some pictures send them my way i'll Stop. post them up on Stop. instagram too Stop. s-t-a-l-l-e-y that's we, we instagram 